Hey, small group leaders and coaches. It's been a while since we've been able to all be together in person, and I know some of you have taken the opportunities to call, text, and meet with your groups through Zoom or through other methods. And uh, man, what a time for us that that is some of our best opportunities. Uh, we're all looking forward to being together for uh, meals, for picnics, for hikes, for days at the pool, or whatever else might be possible uh, once some of these restrictions ease up. So I wanted to give you some questions you might be able to use uh, this week with your small group if you're able to have a call uh, and um, hopefully encourage and enrich your time together. Right now I'm preaching through a series called In the Meantime. And as a really quick recap, the first week of that on April 19th, we talked about how life isn't canceled. God is not destroying his world. He's not gonna end this world. Uh, someday he's gonna renew it and remake it, the new heavens and the new earth. And what he's doing on that grand scale of saving and redeeming his creation, he wants to do for you and me, for all of his people in creation. Peter, at the end of John, is a great example of that. Jesus comes back to him and says, feed my sheep. He restores him. It's what God's all about. So uh, a question that you could use to open up your group would be, what do you see God redeeming from this pandemic time? What is something that we're doing or something that is happening that we may be frustrated about now that God is going to redeem and restore uh, when this pandemic is over? In fact, if you want a, an icebreaker version, you could ask people, what is one thing that's become part of your life during the pandemic that you wanna keep? Something that you don't want to give up when we go back to life as normal. And then the more serious version of the question or, or the going deeper spiritually would be, what is God doing in your life and in your heart that is a sign of his redemption, that life isn't canceled? Uh, what is a part, here's question number two, what is something in your life or in your story that shows the gospel of Jesus has affected your heart and your life? Remember, the gospel of Jesus is everything he did and he said. So everything that's in those four gospels, but the critical contours are his abundant life, his death and resurrection, his exaltation to Lord of all, that he has all authority. So when we think about that story and how we have seen it through eyes of faith, we've read it in scripture, this is the story that you responded to, the one that you chose to make Jesus the Lord of your life. So. Where is a place in your life that right now in this meantime that you can see or reflect on that God has worked on your heart, that he's doing some redemption specifically through the story of Jesus, through the gospel. And then because we've thought about these things and shared them with each other, it's going to help us be prepared uh, as we move into our Home Point campaign called Tell the Story. And we think about how we might be able to witness and share with others. So I hope these are useful for you. I'll say them again real quick, the three things. One is during the pandemic, uh, what is something that has become part of your life that you wanna keep after this is over? Two, what is something during this time you can see God redeeming in your heart or your soul? And three, uh, how has the gospel of Jesus, specifically his story, affected your heart and life in a way uh, that you can see, that you can tangibly see his story has impacted and shaped yours? Okay. Love you all, hope this is some help to you, and I hope that soon we can all be together in person.